Hi everyone, uh, in this video we're looking at uh, lowest common multiple and highest common factor also known as LCM and HCF. Um, before we do this we need to know uh, what multiples and factors actually are and uh, they're, they're quite simple um, and it's quite easy to make a mistake between them two so uh, let's uh, look at what they mean first before we move on and as you practice you'll get used to the difference between the two. Okay, so let's say we've got the number 20. Oops. Okay, so the difference between a multiple and a factor is factors are numbers when you multiply them together they make up 20. Okay, so what are the factors of 20? Well, we know that 1 and 20 make up 20 because 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times nothing is 20 because we know that 3 is not in the uh, 20 is not in the 3 times table. 4 and 5 are make up 20. So these numbers multiplied together they make up 20. Okay? So these numbers are called factors. Okay? F for factors. Multiples on the other hand are numbers that this number here make up. Right? So what's in the 20 times table? So again, 20 is in the 20 times table, 40 is in the 20 times table because 20 times 2 is 40, 20 times 3 is 60, 20 times uh, 4 is 80. So these are multiples of 20. Okay. So remember, factors make up the number, multiples are made up of the number. So let's let's have a, another quick look. Let's do um, let's do 10 for example. What are the factors of 10? We know that 10 is made by 1 times 10. We know it's made up of 2 times 5. Oops. Um, and, and that's it. We normally just go up to 10. Okay, so we always start with 1 and then 2 and then 3. Nothing's, nothing times 3 is 10. 4 times nothing is 10. 5 times 2 is 10, but 5 is already there. So these are the factors of 10. Okay. What are the multiples of 10? Very simple. The multiples of 10 are those numbers that come up in the multiplication table, the times table. So 10, 20, oh, I don't know why this keeps disappearing, 30, 40, Oop. I think you get the idea. Okay. So these are the multiples of 10 and these are the factors of 10. So now let's move on and let's have a look at the HCF. Okay, we'll start with HCF, which is, which stands for the highest common factor. So let's look at a question. Let's say we have 15 and 35, and the question says to find the highest common factor of 15 and 35. Okay, so the way we do this is we always start with 1. What are the factors of 15? We know that 1 times 15 is 15. 2 times nothing is 15 because it's a decimal number, 7.5. We know that 3 times 5 is 15. 4 isn't in the 15, or 15 is not in the 4 times table. We know that 5 times 3 is 15. Remember, we always go in order. We start with 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5. 6, nope, nothing. 7, nothing. 8, nothing. 9, nothing. 10, nothing. And we normally stop at 10. Okay. Now with 35, it's obviously 1 and 35. 2 and nothing, 3 and nothing, 4 and nothing, because uh, 35 is not in the 4 times table, 5 and 7, because 5 times 7 is 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, none of these, 35 is not in any of these times tables. So these are the factors of 35, and these are the factors of 15. All right, agreed? Now we're looking for the common ones. Common means which, which numbers are in this column and in that column. One is in this column, so we're going to circle the ones that are in, are in common in both, both of these columns here. One's in both of them, 15's not in that one, three's not in that one, five's in that one. So now we've underlined factors, we've underlined the common ones. The answer is asking us for the highest one, the highest common factor. Now out of the numbers that we've circled, five is the highest. Okay, so therefore the highest common factor of 15 and 35 is 5. Okay. So now let's do another one. 
we're looking for the highest common factor of let's do 50 and 20 okay so let's get the factors of 50 you can do this with me always start with 1 1 times what is 50 1 times 50 right? I normally put a comma, a comma there but you can put a times times table there. Uh, you can put a, a time symbol there as well 2 and anything is 50 yes 2 and 25 is 50 is 3 times anything 50 no is 4 times anything 50 no is 5 times anything 50 yes 5 times 10 is 50 is 6 times anything 50 7 times anything 50 8 times you keep doing this until you get to 10 we've got 10 already so we don't have to write it again so these are the factors of 50 now we do the same with 20 1 times 20 we know that 2 times 10 3 times nothing we know that 4 times 5 and 5 times 4 5 and 4 are both already there 6 times something nope 7 nope 8 no 9 no 10 10 is already there 10 times 2 is 20 so we're going to leave that so these are my factors of 50 and my factors of 20 now let's circle the common ones which numbers are in this column and in this column we know that one's in this column and one's in this column we know that two's in this column two's in this column five is in this column five is in this column 10 is in this column 10 is in this column 20 nope 25 nope 50 nope so now we've got the common factors of 20 and 50 now we want the highest one so if I circle if I look at the ones I've circled the highest one out of all of these is 10 so therefore the highest common factor of 50 and 20 is 10 okay that's quite straightforward I think you've got the hang of that um, now let's move on to lowest common multiple so let's look for the LCM of uh, let's pick two numbers let's look for the LCM of 2 and th uh, 8 okay so let's look for the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5 okay so LCM is the lowest common multiple if you remember the very first thing I told you was that multiples are those numbers that are in the multiplication table so very simple let's write down all the numbers that are in the 2 times table 2 we will start with 1 1 times 2 is 2 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, we'll just stop there. And then we write down those that are in the 5 times table. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, oops, 50. And we stop there. We normally do the first 10 for the big numbers, okay? So now we've got the multiples of both of these numbers let's do what we did with the highest common factor we want to look for the common ones common means that are in this column and in this column always start with the big number is there a 5 in this column nope is there a 10 in this column yes there is we circle the 10 here we circle the 10 here is there a 20 is there a 15 in this column no is there a 20 in this column yes there is okay and if you carried on you'd see that there's also a 30 there later on but that's that's not a problem so we've got the common ones and now we want the lowest one so out of the ones that we've circled which is the lowest one the answer is 10 it's the lowest one so it's easy as that remember factors make up the number multiples are in the multiplication table of the number okay that's a good way of remembering it let's try another one okay let's do it for let's do 8 and 6 okay let's make this line a little bit longer sorry about the wonky line right so as usual we're going to get the multiples of 8 so we know that 1 times 8 is 8 2 times 8 is 16 3 times 8 is 24 4 times 8 is 32 5, five times 8 is 40 6 times 8 is 48 7 times 8 is 56 8 times 8 is 64 9 times 8 is 72 and 10 times 8 is 80 we always stop after about 10 of these okay until you get really good and the more you practice you can actually do this from the top of your head um, and then we will do the ones for 6, so 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 6 is 24, 5 times 6 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 7 times 6 is 42, 8 times 6 is 48, 9 times 6 is 54, and 10 times 6 is 60. Okay. So now we've got the multiples of 8 and 6. Okay, these are all the multiples because in the multiplication timetable. Let's look for the common ones. Let's start with the big number. Okay, 
Is there an 8 in this one? No. Is there a 16 in this one? No. Is there a 24 in this one? Yes, there is. Is there a 32 in this one? No. Is there a 40 in this one? No. Is there a 48 in this one? Yes, there is. 56 in this one? No. Is there a 64 in this one? No. And then obviously the numbers get too big. So we're going to stop. So now we've circled the common ones. Now let's find out which is the lowest one that we've circled. And the lowest one we've circled is 24. So therefore the lowest common multiple of 8 and 6 is 24. Okay. So that's how you work out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of two or more numbers. Okay. Um, later on, you will be looking at prime numbers um, and how to use prime numbers. Firstly, what prime numbers are and then how to use prime numbers to work out the lowest common multiple or highest common factor of a number. But before you do that, you have to get used to this method first.